Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of the red line in Final Cut Pro X. Have you got this red line, which is following the cursor here, and it's causing a lot of issues and confusion? One of the biggest issues is it's just confusing to work with, because when you like cut with Command B here, it's not cutting where the cursor is, it's cutting where the red line is. And if you cut there, Command B, see now it's cut there, you know, it's all over the place. and. Generally, it's good not to be in this mode and it's very confusing. So how do we remove it? How do we get back to a better way of working? You go to view and you go to remove clip skimming, which is this one, option command S. Once that's done, turned off, you can see it's turned off. And now you just click and you cut, basically you cut where the red line is. Very, very simple, no confusion, no issues. So we are back in this mode again with a red line and there's a shortcut as well, which is option command S to turn it off. Another good way of going through your timeline, which I like to use is press S on its own. The red line kind of follows the cursor. When you want to make a cut or something to this part of the clip, just click like this. But this, this way is good for scanning the footage and seeing which parts you want to, you know, edit at that particular point. If you stay in the uh, this mode, where the red line's always following the cursor, that is annoying as well. So it's simply S with that one. So whenever you're stuck with any confusion with this red line, if you turn it off, and it's simple as that. And when you want to scan your footage, press S, scan, press S to go back into the normal mode. And I prefer it just in this mode where you move the cursor to the point of the footage, you click where you want to do the work. Thanks for watching guys. I hope that helps you and see you in a video soon. Peace.